Hey guys, it's Stacy Shiplett and this is your business tip Tuesday. And what I want to talk to you guys tonight about is comparison. Um, when I started out in my business, um, I think it's very easy to start right out of the gate comparing yourself to top coaches, um, to your own upline coach, or just the people who are around you, maybe even in your challenge group. And you start seeing that they're doing all of these things and you start building this pressure of, I have to be just like them, or I have to be posting and talking like them and doing what they're doing. And I did that. I did that. And I think all of us coaches go through that because we're just trying to learn the ropes and we're trying to learn the way and we're trying to figure out how this works, right? But the best part is, is that you kind of actually need to do that to discover that that's not you, that's not your style, but you get to create your own style but still lean into your upline and the family of your team. That took me a long time to understand. So if I can help you tonight, cut that out. And if I could go back and start over again as a day one coach, it would be to put my blinders on, to listen to the suggestions of my upline coach and to try what they are suggesting, but to tweak it and make it my own. I would also, um, and this is me talking about my, my, my former self as I was a, a newbie coach. Um, I distanced myself for a while, um, where I didn't, um, my, my coach would, text me and I didn't respond back. Um, I didn't engage in team calls. I didn't engage in the challenge group. I started to retreat and I realized it was because I was comparing. And, but the funny part was, is that I have been doing that my whole life. And the behavior of retreating is what I've always done. And I knew that being in this company and being in this business, I had an opportunity to do something different and to heal that part of me. So I decided to reach out to my coach and get more involved in the team calls and dive right back into my challenge groups. And that is where I found not only my confidence, but I started to figure out more and more who I was and what kind of coach I wanted to be because the coach that I want to be versus the coach that my upline coach wants to be, they're completely different, but we do have some, some underground same similarities. So again, my former self, I would just kind of take where I can and learn and grow and ask questions and build and build and build and build. Because I think I spent the first year sabotaging my business rather than getting curious and asking questions and finding out who I was. But I think that all kind of needed to happen so I could kind of wake up and have that moment of clarity and realize that I didn't want to do that anymore. So it actually healed the 14 year old girl inside of me. And I didn't realize that that's what that whole thing was bringing up. So if you are playing the comparison game, um, take a minute and figure out how old you are with that. It's surely not the age you are right now. I can pretty much bank that it's the age of a younger version of you, maybe even elementary school or middle school or even high school, or maybe all of them. But you get a chance to use that in your business to heal yourself and to make an amazing business. And the best part is, is that another thing too is realize that you are your own CEO and that there is no right or wrong and 
you don't have to compare because the only employee that you have is you. That's it. And then when you build a team and you start having people under you, you're really just the person who goes first. That's it. Because we're all doing the same exact things. You just go first. And that's, that's okay because you're kind of like protecting the, the cubs, you know, and you want to make sure like, okay, we're going to go through here and let's see if it works. I'll go first. So if you are self-sabotaging and you are playing the card of comparison, I welcome you to learn from it and write down the things that comparison made you do to the comparison of what love and appreciation and self-assurance does for you. It will change you, your business, the way you look at things completely different. And I can also say for a fact that a lot of people blow this opportunity off to be a coach because they don't see the value. They don't see how amazing this can really be. If you are not following the top coaches right now on Insta stories or on their Facebook pages, these people are just like us. And now they're living lives completely differently. And it's because they put their blinders on and I'm learning from them every single day. So let's all learn from each other and put our blinders on, but still work as a team and come together for our own individual purposes. It'll make you better. It'll make us better. It'll give our futures a better fighting chance, which we also deserve. So tonight, get your blinders on, be part of the team and tell comparison to kiss your ass because those days are over. All right, guys, happy business tip Tuesday. Bye.